let's take a look at this problem. Uh, we want to evaluate uh, this algebraic expression. So let's first look at our steps and we'll write the problem down. So evaluating algebraic expressions. Step one, we want to replace all the variables with sets of parentheses. Step two, plug in the appropriate value inside the parentheses. And then step three is we want to simplify. And that's our order of operations, which we'll see with this example. Okay, so we got 5x squared minus 5y squared plus 5. And they say evaluate the expression at x equals 4. So they're telling us x is 4. And y is equal to negative 3. And it says simplify your answer. That's kind of applied, though. Uh, you don't need to really say that. Um, mathematics, you always simplify. Okay, step 1. Eh, I shouldn't say always. Um, step 1, replace all the variables with sets of parentheses. Okay, so we're going to go through, and everywhere we have a variable, we'll put in a set of parentheses. Now, everything else remains exactly the same. 5 is there, the second power, minus 5, second power, plus 5. All I did is replace the variables with parentheses. Step 2, plug in appropriate values inside the parentheses. Well, we said x is equal to 4, so wherever our x was, we'll put in a 4. We said y is negative 3, so everywhere we had our y, we'll put in a negative 3. And then step 3, we want to simplify. And this is order of operations. Um, please, uh, there's nothing to do inside the parentheses. Excuse. Well, our first uh, exponent is uh, right here. So we're going to have 4 squared, which is 16. And then everything else remains down. Remains uh, the same. So it just comes down. Okay, so we're still on the exponents. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. We're still on the exponents. So we got another exponent right here. Negative 3 squared. So we've got 5 times 16 minus 5. And negative 3 squared is 9. And everything else carries down. Please excuse my dear. Multiplication and division is encountered from left to right. Well, here's our first multiplication or division. Uh, 5 times 16 is 80. Everything else carries down. Okay, now our next multiplication is right here. Everything else is carrying down. So 80 minus 5 times 9 is 45 plus 5. Now, Aunt Sally, addition and subtraction from left to right. 80 minus 45 gives us 35. And then our last one, addition and subtraction, 35 plus 5 gives us 40. So 40 would be our answer.